In the year 43 AD, the landscape of the British Isles was about to undergo a transformation so profound that its echoes would be felt throughout the corridors of history, setting the stage for the birth of one of the world's most influential cities, Londinium, now known as London. The story begins with the Roman Empire, a civilization unparalleled in its ambition, engineering prowess and military might, turning its gaze towards the mist-shrouded isles at the edge of the known world. The decision to invade Britain was not taken lightly. It was the culmination of years of political maneuvering, economic considerations and the desire to expand Roman influence further into the barbarian territories. Emperor Claudius, seeking to secure his position and legacy within the annals of Roman greatness, recognized the strategic and material wealth that lay across the channel. The isles were rich in resources coveted by Rome, metals, agricultural potential, and a new populace to bring under Roman rule. The Roman invasion was a spectacle of military precision and power. An armada of ships crossed the narrow sea, carrying a force of some 40,000 soldiers, including legionaries in their distinctive armor, auxiliaries, cavalry, and a formidable array of siege engines and equipment. The landing on the British shores was uncontested, for the Britons, divided among themselves in tribal factions, could not mount a unified defense against such a formidable foe. Upon setting foot on British soil, the Romans quickly established a beachhead and began the process of conquest and colonization. The military campaign was brutal and swift, with Roman legions marching through the lands, subjugating tribes and securing territories. The Roman approach to conquest was not merely through force of arms. It was also a psychological campaign of imposing the might and order of Rome upon the chaotic tapestry of Britannic tribal lands. The establishment of Londinium was a strategic masterstroke. Situated on the north bank of the River Thames, the site was carefully chosen for its accessibility to the sea and the interior via the river, facilitating trade and military movements. Londinium was to become a focal point of Roman Britain, a place where the Roman way of life could flourish amidst the conquered lands, serving both as a symbol of Roman authority and as a bustling centre of commerce and administration. From the outset, Londinium was envisioned as more than just a military outpost. It was to be a beacon of Roman culture, law and civilization. The Romans brought with them their engineering skills, building techniques and urban planning principles. Streets were laid out in a grid pattern, buildings constructed with Roman architectural elements and the city quickly began to take shape. The foundations of what would become one of the greatest cities in the world were laid, stone by stone, idea by idea, in the mud-strewn lands of ancient Britain. This transformation did not occur in isolation. The Roman presence in Britain brought about a fusion of cultures as indigenous Britons and Roman settlers interacted, traded and sometimes intermarried. The impact of Roman technology, language and governance began to seep into the fabric of Britain society, altering it forever. Londinium, at the heart of this transformation, was a microcosm of the Roman Empire itself. Diverse, dynamic and enduring. As the years passed, Londinium grew in size and importance. Its port teemed with ships from across the empire, bringing goods, people and ideas. The city became a bustling cosmopolitan centre, its streets filled with the sounds of commerce, the sights of Roman and Britain side by side, and the smells of foods from far-off lands. It was a place of opportunity, where fortunes could be made and lost, and where the Roman dream of a civilised world seemed within grasp. This beginning of Londinium's story, marked by the arrival of the Romans in Britain, is a tale of ambition, ingenuity and the relentless drive of the Roman spirit. It set the stage for centuries of growth, conflict and change, laying the foundational stones of a city that would continue to evolve long after the Roman eagles had departed its shores.
The strategic selection of Londinium's site by the Romans was a decision that showcased their remarkable foresight and understanding of geography, logistics, and the long-term objectives of empire building. The Romans, renowned for their engineering prowess and military strategy, recognized the potential of a small patch of land along the River Thames, not just for its immediate tactical advantages, but for its capacity to become a linchpin in their vast network of territories. The Thames offered a natural highway that penetrated deep into the heart of Britannia, facilitating the movement of troops, supplies, and commerce. It was this river that the Romans saw as the artery of life for the burgeoning settlement, providing a conduit for trade and a strategic defensive barrier. The river's tidal nature allowed ships to reach Londinium from the North Sea, making it an ideal location for a port that could serve both military and commercial purposes. Moreover, the choice of location took into consideration the lay of the land. The area that would become Londinium was relatively high ground, offering protection from flooding while also commanding views over the surrounding landscape. This not only provided a defensive advantage, but also made the settlement visible from afar, projecting Roman power and control over the newly conquered territory. The establishment of Londinium at this strategic juncture was not merely a matter of military convenience, it was a statement of intent. The Romans were here to stay, and they intended to weave Londinium into the fabric of their empire. The city was to be a beacon of Roman civilization in a land far from Rome, a center where Roman laws, customs and culture could flourish amidst the conquered peoples. As Londinium began to take shape, the Romans implemented their architectural and urban planning skills to transform the landscape. They constructed a forum, basilica and other public buildings that echoed the grandeur of Rome itself. These structures served not just practical purposes, but were symbols of Roman order and governance. The Forum became the heart of public life in Londinium, a place where commerce, justice and administration intersected. The planning of Londinium also reflected the Roman approach to urban development, which emphasised efficiency, order and the well-being of its inhabitants. The streets were laid out in a grid pattern, ensuring easy navigation and the efficient flow of goods and people. Aqueducts were built to supply fresh water and a sophisticated drainage system was implemented to keep the streets clean and hygienic. In choosing the location for Londinium, the Romans laid the groundwork for a city that would thrive for centuries. They saw beyond the immediate tactical advantages to the enduring potential of this place at the edge of the Roman world. Londinium was to be a nexus of power, commerce and culture, a testament to the might and vision of Rome. This careful selection and meticulous planning underscore the Roman Empire's broader strategies of control, assimilation and integration of conquered lands. Londinium, from its inception, was envisioned as a vital component of the Roman imperial system, a model of Roman urbanism and governance far from the Italian peninsula. As Londinium grew, it attracted people from all corners of the empire and beyond, becoming a melting pot of cultures, ideas and innovations. This enabled Londinium to develop a unique identity within the Roman world, one that combined the best of Roman civilization with the richness of Britannic and other cultures. The strategic choice of its location was the seed from which this vibrant urban centre sprang a decision that would shape the destiny of Londinium and, ultimately, the city that would rise from its Roman foundations, London. With the strategic location of Londinium chosen, the Romans embarked on a grand project that would see the transformation of this chosen site on the banks of the Thames into a bustling urban centre. This phase of Londinium's history is marked by rapid development, innovation and the establishment of the city as a beacon of Roman culture and governance in Britannia. Londinium's foundation was laid out with Roman precision and ambition. The city was planned from the ground up to reflect the glory of Rome, with wide streets laid out in a grid pattern, public buildings of imposing architecture, and private homes that combined comfort with functionality. 
the Romans brought with them advanced technology and engineering skills, which they applied to construct durable roads, efficient drainage systems, and defensive structures that ensured the city's resilience against both human and natural threats. From its earliest days, Londinium served as a commercial hub, its strategic position on the Thames making it a natural point for the import and export of goods. The Roman Empire's extensive network facilitated trade across Europe, North Africa and Asia, bringing a wealth of goods to Londinium's docks. Wine from Gaul, olive oil from Spain, luxury goods from the Far East and metals from Britannia's own mines flowed through the city, enriching its merchants and providing the populace with goods that were once unimaginable in this distant province. The Forum, Londinium's marketplace, was the bustling heart of the city, where traders from across the empire gathered. Here, the economic life of the city played out with transactions ranging from the trade of exotic spices to the sale of local produce. Around the Forum, shops and taverns catered to the needs of Londinium's diverse populace, offering a taste of Roman life far from the Italian peninsula. The growth of Londinium attracted people from every corner of the Roman Empire and beyond. Soldiers, traders, artisans and officials brought with them their customs, languages and religions, making Londinium a cosmopolitan centre of cultural exchange. This diversity was reflected in the city's neighbourhoods, where temples to Roman gods stood alongside shrines to deities from Egypt, Gaul and the eastern provinces. This blend of cultures enriched Londinium, creating a society that was Roman in governance and spirit, but uniquely Britannic in its diversity. The city's inhabitants enjoyed entertainments such as the theatre, the races and public baths, which were hallmarks of Roman leisure, adapted to the tastes and traditions of its diverse population. As Londinium flourished, so too did its importance as a centre of administration and governance, the Roman authorities established a governor's palace and administrative buildings where the rule of law was maintained and the city's affairs were managed. Londinium became the seat of Roman power in Britannia, from which the province was governed, taxes were collected and justice was administered according to Roman law. The city's growth was not without challenges. The threat of rebellion, the logistical difficulties of supplying a large urban center and the need for constant maintenance of its infrastructure required a sophisticated administrative apparatus. Yet through these challenges, Londinium thrived, its early growth a testament to the ingenuity, resilience and ambition of its Roman founders and the diverse peoples who made it their home. The foundation and early growth of Londinium laid the groundwork for a city that would endure for centuries, evolving through the ages to become the London we know today. This period of Londinium's history is a story of transformation, of a landscape irrevocably changed by the hand of Rome and of a city that rose to become a centre of commerce, culture and power far beyond what its founders could have envisioned.